I'm going to show you how to get rich on penguin.gg. There is multiple ways of you getting rich on this server. It could be farming, it could be slaying, and it could be mining. There is one other way of getting super rich in this game, and that is the auction house. This is by far the best way to get rich in the game. If you vote 20 times, which is four days, and there's four different sites, you will get a grinder crate key, which sells for a lot of money. Have a look at these prices here. 200 million, 300 million, 170 million, 225 million. Now, what you want to do is you want to vote the 20 times, get a grinder key, or do slash missions and complete some of these missions here, it will get yourself a grinder key. So what you wanna do is auction it, and it goes for around about 170, what I would say. Uh, yeah, there it is. I'm gonna make this key, I'm gonna make this up to 170 as well. Over time, people will buy it, you will not get it straight away. The balance will not go up straight away. You will have to wait. So if you have a look right there, the grinder key just got sold for 160. I did lower it 10 million just to give the other person some leeway. Uh, but 160 million just from a grinder key. Get yourself a servant. Get loads and loads of sky coins from mining, slaying, farming. And upgrade it to the last tier, which is killing vexes. And when you upgrade your servant, for the mob, it uses sky coins. For mining, it uses XP. And the efficiency, it's cash. So the cash needs to be maxed out on this for it to work a lot. And if we sell all this, uh, let me just get a wand. So we're going to sell wand, and now we're going to right click the servant. And we've got around about 30, 41, 42k from that. And you can upgrade it. Different mobs will give you different items and sell for different prices. Mining will also give you sky coins as well as cash. Now, it will only give you cash if you sell it. But look at this. If you upgrade it up to a certain tier, which is tier 5, it's triple the sell price. And you can set minions up after tier 1 to automatically get you mastery points. So if you're literally just standing here with your finger on the left click, just mining away using your super breaker, like so. This is all the materials we got from super breaker. And if we right click the chest, we got 7.5k just from that alone. And it lasts for a couple minutes. If you keep mining, it will level your MCM and more up. Uh, the higher it is, the longer you can use a super breaker for. Farming is the exact same thing if you do slash masteries and you just hover over it. Tier 6 is the triple sell price of the certain, certain crop that is. And if you go to RS, which is rotating shop, if you have a farmer's harvester and you build up a certain crop, when that rotating shop has that crop, if you automatically sell it, you will get three times the multiplier. So it's basically tier six right there. So mobs work a little bit differently. So you don't get triple the sell price of certain, certain loot. You basically get 50% chance of getting the drops which you can sell the drops for quite a lot of money. Couple thousand boards and arrows will give you over 10k. The last servant here is killing vexes and that gives you millions upon millions once it's got the capacity of 50,000. It will honestly set you up for life. So crates, opening crates is another good way of getting money. So today I voted and I managed to get 100 vote keys in total just from being on the season. Now I opened them all up and I got a full single barrel full of iron blocks, gold blocks. I got loads of diamond blocks and emerald blocks. 
And if we were to sell all these here, it would get us up to $967,000. How amazing is that? Just from voting alone. If you vote over 76 times, you will get something called the Survivor Create Key. Just take a guess how much that costs. It auctions around about 900, 600 million. Sometimes around the 450 range is amazing. And that's millions and millions of dollars. This area here is called the D-Boss area, which is the Dragon Boss area. Once you've killed dragons, once they spawn, if you come top five, you can get something called the Fragments. And if you go D-Boss again, slash D-Boss. Boss, I spelled B boss and D boss. You can craft armor. So this is the dragon armor, and each one gives you different benefits and bonuses. And to craft these, uh, let's have a look. So for the level ones, you need 50 fragments for just the helmet alone. However, if you get lucky, you can get a pouch which gives you some good luck. And you can sell some of those pouches for millions as well. Sometimes they will drop you some armor. It will be random. Sometimes it won't. Sometimes it will. And you can get really lucky and get a full set. It will not drop all four at once. It will be one or two. Uh, but that's really good if you get that. They also sell for quite a bit as well. So if we type in dragon. Let's see what pops up. So some of these fragments go for 95k, 1.5 mil. Uh, you can get some armor for like 30 mil, 4 billion. Some of it's absolutely insane. So for new starters, I would set up a cobblestone generator. Once you got around about 100,000, I would start on making your farming area. Now make this as long as possible and grind away. You need to get this. This is amazing. You can get double drops with this farmer's harvester. So basically you need 5,000 mined of each different crop. And you need three different crops to obtain the tool. Same goes with the super pickaxe. Will, it will always give you extra fortune when you mine 1,000 ores. There are multiple ways of getting rich in this game, but I would vote to get yourself up there. Tell me down below how you managed to get rich. If you did enjoy this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.